Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the weirdest slash best or slash worst design I have, floor plan design that I've ever seen on a Mercedes chassis. This is the all new 2020 Delano model 24RW, which is the only one that actually gives you a sofa, a dinette, and a permanent bed position. Super excited to show you. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited. We're looking at another Delano. Now listen, before you sign off thinking you've already seen this video, you haven't. Because this floor plan is so unique and strange. I think I love it. I think I hate it. I don't even know how I feel about it. But if you haven't seen my other Delanos videos, I'll have links to them down in the description below and at the end of this video. But I'm super excited to show you this one. And before we begin, I just want to say hi to Andrea. Hi, hey. everyone. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks so much for coming out today. Yes, Matthew. I am so excited to see this because now you've got my curiosity peaked. Uh -huh. I've never seen a floor plan like this. No, this neither. This is my first time too, guys. Yeah, no, neither have I. And like, listen, like, you know, this on the Mercedes, you can't get this in the Winnebago or the um, Integras or any of them that build on the Mercedes. It's just one of a kind. Great, so let's get started. Model is 24RW, but the actual tip to tip length is 25 feet, eight inches. This is on the brand new Mercedes chassis. And how you can tell it's on the new one is with the sleek headlight design. I absolutely love that. The, and also the 10 inch navigation screen on the inside. That's the indication that it's the all new upgraded chassis. This is on, even though it's a new chassis, it has the same engine. It's a 3.0 liter V6 with 188 horsepower and 325 foot pounds of torque. Woo! Woo! America. <laughs> Great. Uh, coming down the side, you got your Continental tires there. A uh, customer, big shout out to him. He says they got to start saying the tire size. These are LT215 by 85s R16. And actually, they're pretty nice tires. So I like that. Full body paint standard. I love that. No, I lied. Full body paint option. You can get this without the full body paint. I recommend if you're spending the money on the Mercedes and everything, get the full body paint. Uh, and up here, you have a nice seamless. Up, oh, get this, Andre, please. Yes. You have a nice seamless fiberglass front cap. You got to get the front windshield. I, I am. I'm moving slowly for my viewers so they don't get dizzy, okay? Oh, I make them dizzy. Yes, you do. Yep. You see that nice? Yep. Right up there. Slow your roll, man. Slow, slow down, Matt. Coming down here, you have these nice aluminum slam latch doors. I love how the baggage doors swing sideways and not vertical or not up and down. And they're slam latch. Frameless windows throughout the whole RV. Also, you have an armless awning with wind sensor. Let's see what that looks like when it's all the way out. push of a button and now you oh, are set nice. up Oh nice. We love these ones that you don't have to like stand there and hold. Seriously. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look what they did Andrea. Oh no. Why'd you do it? Look it's they have white. they have nice patterns on the other side. Yeah. Is it upside down maybe? No, it's not upside down. Alright. Alright. So you show that awning when you get on the roof and now look underneath this awning guys. Uh, not a fan white because it's white. Awning, but I do like how it angles. I love how it has the wind sensor and I love the LED lights. Cool. Coming down the side, you have a Cummins Onan 3600 LP generator. You can option it with a diesel generator. Over look here. At this. Look at this. Wow. Wow. You know, that was a really big door and I thought it would have been more storage. It doesn't matter for this, it's still 
a good amount of storage. Right, because it is on a small Mercedes. Yeah. And then right down there, you do have an LP Quick Connect for an outside grill. Oh, doesn't look like I'll be able to get on the roof. Coming around the back, you do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow about 4,200 pounds. Here's the other side of that storage right there. Oh, no ladder for the back because you have a rear slide out here. You do have a backup camera. I love that. And yeah, it's just a, a nice reverse. I just wish there was a ladder. Is it a, is it a walkable roof? Uh, I don't even know. I think so. Yeah. Did the other Delano have ladders? I think they did. Yeah, I think it's a walkable roof. But uh, don't we'll check that. Yeah, check that out. Also, I would like to say, if you guys haven't already, make sure you get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Ding! Uh, those stickers, Andre and I are selling, and we're using 100% of the proceeds to buy Andre new camera equipment, lighting equipment, stabilization equipment, and most importantly, audio equipment. Thank you guys we for your support. We do appreciate all of you. Thank you. Dirty amp motor home right here. There's your plug-in. Oh yeah. There's your wet bay, outdoor shower, black tank flush and everything, black and gray tank flush. Coming down the side here, you do have a tankless instant hot water heater. I love that. Well, I don't, oh, look I do love that, the... but I love, look, continue yes. on with the paint, man. That's what it's all about. Right, here's your 30 amp power cord. It's your fresh water tank and everything. Really, really nice. Still some storage there. Oh yeah. Right here's your propane tank right there. Nice size propane tank. And then right over here, here's where you fill up your fuel. It is a 26.4 gallon diesel fuel tank. Also, we will have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome. Lengths, tank sizes, widths, everything down in the description below. Great. Well, the outside of this is a cargo carrying capacity on no, there? No, I don't think it's on this okay. one. I think it's on the other one. The outside of this motorhome looks fantastic, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Don't forget to skip. <laughs> After you. And for all you viewers that ask me or want to know about Matthew's energy, he's always like this. So 24-7. 24-7. <laughs> So here we are inside. Great. So here it is with oh, the slide okay. outs Look closed. At this. I mean, it's still super spacious. Oh, yeah. Bathroom. Okay. Nice. Bedroom. Look at the bed slide out. Okay. Now, while we're doing that, we have a huge favor to ask everybody. If you could, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this brand new product and floor plan from Thor. And let us know three things you don't like it. Thor is reading the comments. They, they let me know that they like watching our videos. And they are reading the comments and they love your feedback. So, make sure you leave that in the comments below. Also, that does help me and Andrea get more viewers. Because it triggers the YouTube algorithm or something like that. Definitely. And it also lets the RV manufacturers know yeah. what they need to change. So yeah. we're changing RVs, guys. We're making history. For the people. That's right. It's nice and cool in here. It is. Don't you Do you see? have the air on? Nope. All right. I mean, this layout is absolutely incredible. Let's get started up front. So. This has the all new Mercedes chassis. Again, how you can tell is with the nice big 10 inch screen. If you haven't yet seen the Delano video, I believe it was the 24 FB. I will have a link right up there. Watch that video at the end of the video, this video, and it will go over all the new chassis features of what this one has to what the other ones didn't have. But you got power seats, they both recline. Nice you have holders. this leather, this type of leather is an upgrade. The big, you know, it's gonna have all the lane assist and the buttons and everything. Just a really fancy chassis. I absolutely love this. I personally, you know, wouldn't get a Mercedes. You know, you and I know we, we would both get a big Class A, but that's for the bunk over the cab. Okay. Why don't you show that? 
But with that said, ex oh, okay, the, the window. So the extend ret retract button yep. is right there. Hang on, let me see what I want to say. We would never get a Mercedes. Well, we, we would get a Class A, but let me tell you, driving this thing, it handles just like a car. It's very, very nice. And should we grab the cargo carrying oh. capacity since you're over there? Oh, yeah. Cargo carrying capacity. So, so here's what it is, folks. Just do it back up and just show this whole living room first. So, this is the only Mercedes chassis that gives you a sofa and a dinette and a permanent bedroom, okay? 827 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. I can almost guarantee you no force and toilet. But, I mean, come on, you gotta make sacrifices. Absolutely. You know, to get a floor plan like this. Because you're, you're not gonna see it with both. Yep. These seats do swivel, and that's why you have the booster seat. Some sort of privacy thing. Right over here, this bunk over the cab can only hold 250 pounds. So, that ain't good either. You know, a lot of times, I've had a lot of customers ask me about these Mercedes, like sleeping five. It's like, yo, you can't even carry five. There's not even sleeping positions for five. So, you know, it's really silly. But in the living area, look at this. Nice, nice cozy little couch. I love this. It looks like a recliner. Oh yeah. Oh, it is. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at this. The, oh my, oh my goodness. Very I love this. Nice. And look, you're looking directly across the television. I absolutely love that. I've got cup holders oh, behind. Shit. All right. Got a, the radio there, Bluetooth, night shades. Do we have day shades? Oh, yeah. Then look at this. I don't see the day shades. Maybe I'm just blind. Right here, you have storage above. And look at this. I, I like the cabinets. Oh, yeah, the cab. Oh, look at that. It's got that European. Oh, soft, soft clothes. Clothes. You know how it has that European doors. look. Oh, yeah, very European. Over here, look at this. I absolutely love this. This is how they were able to accomplish this floor plan with a little two seater dinette. Now, let's be real. Those four seater dinettes are, are only two seaters anyway. This just makes it smaller and more nimble. I like this. And you do oh, have. Oh, two windows. Oh, yeah. One behind you there, too. And the TV's in a good spot. Yep. I mean, and you're you have sitting your across holders. from here. Yep. Very, That's very nice. Storage under there. Oh, yeah. That's great. Oh, really? Just yeah. a little one. Tiny bit. Under here, you got USB, electrical plugs, and oh, that's bigger a lot storage better. down here. That's great. Also, by the bunk, guys, we do have a charging center. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Right here's your eight air conditioning unit, and it is fully ducted through. Right here, you got a little bit more storage. Over here, well, hang on. Small motorhome. Now, <laughs> before I show you the kitchen, it's time for the MSRP. <laughs> Hey, if you if you ever get tired of selling RVs, you can always work for Nick Jr. Why? It reminds me of Blue's Clues or something. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. MSRP on this motorhome is one hundred sixty-one thousand five hundred thirty-six dollars. MSRP. We have it discounted thirty percent wow. off MSRP to. $113,995 sale price. But, Andrea. Yes. We can do a lot better than Absolutely. that for the sale price. Here's how you do it. Everybody, listen. Stop emailing me asking how you get a better price. Well, wait, no. you. I want you to email me. Stop leaving down in the comments how do we get a better price. Here's how you do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, or you can FaceTime, hey. or, Whoa. guys, you can go to Ocala and see Matt yourself. But make sure you call ahead, 301-906-0962, <laughs> or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Call me, text me, schedule an appointment with me. I don't make these videos to try to sell. I do these to help everybody. But at the same time, if you are interested in purchasing, make sure you call me directly so you don't pay too much. Absolutely. You know, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Check out that sink. Cute. I like the round sink. Little round sink. Nice for a little crock pot while you're driving down the road. I like that. Oh, These yeah. These are always really handy. Very nice. No countertop. Extension. But you do have an extension. Two burner cooktop. Okay. Sideways. Very That's weird. That's okay, but they're, they're saving space. Yep. I get it. Oh. I do love the, the design of the cabinets and the drawers. Very nice. Yeah. I think it looks great. Trash can. Comes with a trash can. It should. Oh, All yeah. All right. Got a shelf in there. Nice. Got yeah, another little cabinet over here. And then this is for steam. Yes. When it comes up, you got a power fan right there. Is that doesn't a, open. Oh, it doesn't. Nope. It's just for direct de decor. Very nice. Cool. Over here, you do have a RV style fridge. It does run off both propane and electric. And then right up here, you do have your microwave convection oven. Okay. I like that. Over here in the bathroom, small shower, not huge. But not tiny. I've definitely seen smaller showers. Yeah, definitely. And, and it's these tiny ones. Pretty nice. It's a good size. Good size. It's got the vinyl. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. So this bathroom, of course it's gonna be a plastic toilet. Why? It looks like it's at a great angle. Okay, it's catty corner. Let me see if I can close the door on you. No, you cannot. Well, yeah, nope. so try to close your legs in a little bit more. But not when I'm pooping. Okay, let know? me sit down. You gotta poop with the door open, you know? Let me sit. Don't tell me what to do, Nancy. <gasps> what? Randy. God dang it. So, I'm okay. You're not okay, that's not how you poop. There you go. <laughs> I'm good. You're good? Yeah. All right, but if you're taller than me, taller it's than- plastic. Yep. Um, but that's, you know, give toilet paper holders in a good spot. Look, mm -hmm. see it over here? Oh good yeah. Spot. You got nice little cabinet up here. You press these in. These I don't open. even know. Just pull. Keep pulling. Oh, it's the other side. Duh. So look at that, guys. That's very pretty. I like the mirrors. Yeah. You know, it gives it that open, kind of clean look. Here you have a tiny little sink. Mm-hmm. And a nice cabinet under there. Nice. Andrea. Is that bathroom Andrea approved? It is. Well, it's not Matt approved. It's not Matt approved, but it's Andrea approved. Well, that's all. That's all the approval we need. Okay, so check this out. You know what? Wow. You know what? I'm yes. about to say something crazy. You know me. You know you. We don't like these fold-up beds. I like this fold-up bed. Do you know why? Why? Because in such a small motorhome, you can't get changed in here. But when you fold this up, now you can. You know. You can, oh yeah. Please shoes on. That's why it has that cup holder seat here. There, seat cushion. Yep. You got drawers underneath. You got two drawers underneath. Yeah. That's crazy. You do have cup holders over there. Yep. You got a TV right there. Let's see this. Very nice. You got your TV. Across from the bed, you have a TV. Yep. You have a fan up here. And look at this. Look at the wardrobe area. Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh yeah. Very nice. Two, two wardrobe closets there. Now, nice big drawers. Here's what I will say I like about this bed, if you want to stand over there. I actually didn't get this. Let me show this drawer. So let me just show I, you. I got the drawer. I didn't get it very good because I was behind you. Very nice. And right here, so it, it gives it a more open look. It looks clean. I love that. Cool. Now here's what I do like about this bed. Oh. Even though you have to fold it up, it is not a fold in half bed. It is all one mattress. Okay, that's great. Like that. And this looks like smaller than a queen. Yeah, it's its own kind of weird size. So it's po it's a full, but tiny bit bigger than a yeah, full. Yeah, you really gotta love each other for this one. <laughs> you know, I mean, this very small bed set up. Got the cabinetry there. Very cabinetry nice. there. Got the lights above the cabinetry behind there you can see, which yep. is great. Listen, folks. Charging you, center, sorry babe, so, charging center right there. You guys can see it inside the cabinet. Okay. If you're six foot six, you're not going to be comfortable in this thing. You know, it just is what it is. It's kind of like the taller you are, the smaller the motorhome you want to buy for some reason. Mm -hmm. You just need to get the bigger motorhome, you know. I mean, I'm almost falling off the bed and I'm only five, four and a half. So. And you got a privacy door right here. Yep. Pocket little vinyl accordion side. Yep. Well, that's it. 
that's the review. Now, before you leave, it's now time that we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. What should we do first? Three things we like about it. Okay. Would you like to go first? No, you go ahead. Okay. First thing I like, I like this layout. You know, I mean, the sofa, the dinette, the bed, you've never ever gotten this in a Mercedes chassis. I love how they're doing it. I think it looks great and I absolutely love it. That's one. Do you have a two? I do. What is it? I, well, when the slides were in, uh -huh. I was surprised by how much space I still had to get to the bathroom. Oh, I 100% concur. Yeah, that's my second. That's my reason I like it. I, I also like the fact that the bed does not fold. In half. It yes. thinks that it has to fold to come in. Well, it just bends. Right. It bends, but it doesn't fold. Exactly. Cool. And I got a third one. You ready? Beautiful cabinet. Yes. You know, I absolutely love it. I think it looks fantastic. I love how it won't slam shut on you. It is just beautiful cabinetries. Listen, Thor designs some of the most beautiful motorhomes. Interiors, for sure. I mean, that that is a very excellent point on their end. Great. Now, it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. You ready? Yep. Okay, I got one. Kitchen, no counter space. No counter space. I know, I get it. I understand why. I understand why. And personally, I, I guess you're right. I would rather have a table instead of more kitchen space, but it just is what it is. There's lack to no kitchen counter space. That's true. That's one. But. You know, you could still use a dinette for preparing food. Oh man, in my face. I didn't yeah. even think of that. And you still have that extension, so it's not that bad. You can make bad. two. Yeah. yeah, it's not that bad. Great. Especially with this being smaller. Your turn? I do not like the bunk area. What? Why not? Um, To me, I feel like... For me, I feel like if I was up here, I might hit my head or something. Yeah, for sure. And it only holds 250 pounds. It actually probably would have been better if they would have brought that profile back some to make it more streamlined yeah, definitely. and like maybe put some cabinets or just leave that big window up there oh, yeah. no, 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 you know what they should have done they, they should have designed it like the compass remember the compass only had the window yes yep that would have looked better yeah instead like, of having a bunk yep because like either do the bunk or don't do the bunk right. that's kind of like a half-ass bunk definitely <laughs> great so that's two and then number three dislikes about this motorhome the way the toilet is no i don't I, we always do the toilet we can find a better dislike it's not that it's plastic it's that the way it's sitting caddy corner <laughs> and you couldn't even close <laughs> yourself <laughs> in there don't make me pick that toilet i'm just saying Maybe remember that time we went to chicago uh -huh. and you couldn't even close the door uh-huh no i'm picking something else okay follow me <laughs> i couldn't think of anything else it's hard to. This is a, a really nice RV. No, it's a great RV. I just don't like that. This is your hookups. Your hookups are all outsized and exposed. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, water hookup and exterior hookups and all that other good stuff. So, Great. Great. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, call me, text me, send me an email. My cell number is 301-906-0962. Or you can contact me at mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. If you haven't already seen the other two Delano videos, make sure you pick one and watch them. Uh, the videos will show up right here. And yeah, Andre, do you want to say anything? Yes. Guys, um, remember, if you if you like travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, please check out our other channel at Matt's RV Review Towables. Yep, and we'll have that and down in the description below. That will be in the description below for you to click on, okay? We Great. love you guys. Thank you so much. Keep commenting and keep asking questions. Great. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next, next time. time. Bye. Bye.